Hi, Mum. Oh, can I have my Easter egg now, please? Hi, Bernie. No, not yet. Sorry. What are you doing, Mum? Well, I had an idea about doing an Easter scavenger hunt, so I'm collecting some things. What's a scavenger hunt? Oh, scavengers find things that could be useful. Ordinary things that may be just lying around. So, for example, if you were scavenging on a beach, what do you think you might look for? Oh, that's easy. Ice cream. Well, you'd have to pay for that, Bernie. I was thinking of things like shells or crabs, seaweed, stuff like that. Oh, so why? Why have you got a glass of wine, Mum? Is well, it lunchtime already? No, because I thought we could do a scavenger hunt looking for things that would help give us the real meaning of Easter. So I've got the wine to show us that Jesus held up a cup of wine saying, this is to remind you of my blood shed for you. Oh. Now, it's your turn, Bernie. See if you can find something you use to wash your hands. Okay, I'm on it. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> some soap. Look, look, there we are. Brilliant. And it's lime and basil. I've got a friend called Basil. Do you think he made it? I don't know, Bernie, I really don't. But the soap reminds us that Pontius Pilate, who was the judge at Jesus' trial, he washed his hands. Oh, to... oh, I know, because of the coronavirus, obviously. No, Pilate was too scared to stand up for the Jews who wanted Jesus dead. So he washed his hands to say, it's nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. So what's next? Um, can you find something wooden? Not right. too big though, okay. but to remind us that Good Friday, Jesus was nailed to a wooden cross. Got it, look, big log. That's great, Bernie. But mum, why is it called Good Friday? Surely it should be Bad Friday. Jesus being killed and all his disciples running away. That's a very good question, Bernie. What do you think? Hmm, well, I suppose it's good news in a way because Jesus dying means we can be forgiven and we can be friends with God. It still seems sad though. Mm, that's a really great answer, Bernie. And you're right, but it must have felt very sad too. Mm, what's next? Well, when Jesus died, his body was put in a grave cut out of the rock, a bit like a cave. So let's see if you can find a rock or a stone. Oh, 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 here we go. Bit heavy. Oh, here we come. Look brilliant. at that. Oh, there. Fantastic. And well done. Does this remind us too of a stone that was put across the entrance to the grave as well? Yes, that's right. And after three days, when Jesus ro rose from the dead on that first Easter morning, the stone was rolled away and it was a big surprise, even though he told people it, had ha it would happen. So the next one is Bernie. Can you find something really surprising? Oh, yes, yes, I've got an idea. Just a minute, just a minute. Okay. Many of you will have heard this story before, but today let's remember the amazing power of God and ask him to show us his power today. Bernie! Just coming, just coming, Bernie. just coming. Big surprise! Wow! Yay. Bernie, what have you done? Do I have to call you Vicar Bernie now? Yay. Wow! Bernie, that's amazing. Thank you for all your help. Can I have my Easter egg now, please? Yes, Woo! you can, Bernie. Yay! Hopefully, you will all have a copy of the whole scavenger hunt attached to an email this week that you can print off. We would love you to try and find all the objects and let us know how you get on via the church WhatsApp. 
but remember to stay safe and not post any pictures of your faces. Have a great Easter, everyone. Happy, Happy Easter. Bye-bye.